Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanical PE Exam Prep. If you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the basics down before solving lots of problems, take my Udemy course, HVAC and Refrigeration Fundamentals. In less than five hours, you'll review all the major topics you need for the PE exam. By the end, you'll actually be excited to start studying. 101 Solved Mechanical Engineering Problems, HVAC 10. A guinea pig breeder keeps 3,000 pigs in stock for supply to pet stores around the country. The average pig weight is 3 pounds. The cage room is supplied with air at 82 degrees and 85% relative humidity by an evaporative cooler. There is no recirculation. Air leaves the evaporative cooler at 140 feet per minute. Air is removed from the cage room when it reaches 87 degrees. The cage room experiences the following loads. Equipment sensible heating, lighting sensible heating, and for the guinea pigs, we have some sensible load per pound of pig and latent load also per pound of pig. And they'd like to know A, what airflow through the cage room is required, B, what is the humidity ratio of the air leaving the cage room, and C, what is the area of the evaporative cooler supply duct. So I've drawn a picture on the right. We have this cage room with 3,000 pigs in it, and the average pig weighs three pounds and there's some supply air, and it's not similar to the supply air we would normally provide for thermal comfort for humans. It's quite a bit warmer and higher humidity, but that's fine. We're keeping the pigs happy, I'm sure. <laughs> they probably like it humid. And there's no recirculation, so that's also a big difference from a lot of building-related problems that we do. We're just supplying this air, and then instead of calling it return air, I just call it leaving air since it's not going back around. And we have a fully defined state for the supply. And then for the leaving condition, we only know the temperature. We don't know anything else that would allow us to fully define that state. So for the first question about what airflow is required, that's really going to be based on the sensible cooling requirement only. And then some amount of humidity will be added to that air while it's in the cage room. And then when it leaves, it'll be more humid. So let's summarize all the loads and get a handle on what the total sensible and total latent load are inside the cage room. And we can make a table for this. I'll break it into two columns, sensible and latent. And I'll just say all the units are BTUs per hour, so we don't have to write the units over and over again. So we have this sensible load from equipment, that's 70,000. And then we have another 15,000 sensible from lighting. And then from the pigs themselves, we have four and a half BTU per pound, and there's 9,000 pounds of pig, right? 3,000 pigs at 3 pounds per pig. So 9,000 times 4.5 is 40,500 for the sensible component. And then there's also a latent component. These pigs are mammals, just like you and me. So there's perspiration and respiration, and that creates a latent load in the space. So that's 2 BTUs per pound, again, times 9,000 pounds. So that's 18,000 BTU per hour of latent load. So let's total that up. Sensible is going to be 125,500, and the latent is just the 18,000. That's the only latent load is from the pigs themselves. So the supply air volume is based only on the sensible load. Because the air is not being returned, we have no desire to control the humidity. We're just going to allow that latent load to be added to the air, and then the air leaves, and the humidity leaves with it, and new air is supplied at these predefined conditions from, from some evaporative cooler. So for the supplier volume, we'll use our handy rule of thumb. Sensible heat load equals 1.08 CFM delta T. And we can rearrange this to solve for CFM. It's going to be the total sensible load divided by 1.08 and the delta T. And substituting in, we have 125,500 divided by 1.08 divided by 87 minus 82. And that gives us 23,240 CFM which is the answer to A.